Stash your cash and your keys in the Tom Thumb purse, one of the oldest and most popular kits ever made by Tandy Leather Factory. The Tom Thumb kit includes pre-cut, pre-punched leather parts. The outside is tooling leather. The gusset has the zipper already stitched in place. It has lacing for putting it together. It has a lacing needle to use with the lace, and it includes instructions on how to do it. To do the tooling, we first need to dampen the leather with water, and I'll do that with a sponge, and I'll do it evenly all over, and I'll make it damp, but not soggy. I have allowed my leather to dry until it begins to return to its natural color, so now I can start my stamping. I've decided to do a border with a veiner tool, so I will carefully go around the outer edge, as you can see, staying about an eighth of an inch away from my row of holes. And I will stamp this all the way around. Now I'm adding to my design with another tool. You can use any tools of your choice to do this. Next, I would like to add some, some more tooling to the sides now. Keep in mind, if you look at, at this uh, piece, there's a square hole here, a, or a slot, as opposed to round holes all the way around. This is where the fold will be. So make sure when you do your tooling, you do it on the proper side. So now I'm going to put a horse's head on here, and I will do it in the proper position, and I will do it so that the horse's head is upright, and then I will stamp it very carefully. And there we have our horse's head. And I have stamped the name of Emmy on the other side, so now we're ready to do our assembly. I will begin the assembly by aligning the two slot holes, as you can see, uh, and I will start by bringing my lace up through the slotted hole from the inside to the out. Now I will pull my lace up until I have about one inch here, then I will match up the two holes. I will turn this over and go through the next hole and through the hole in the gusset as well. Then I will pull my lace up and I'll pull it up snug. Make sure that you do not get it twisted. And you can pull it up rather snug. Now, we will go through the next hole. And we will go through that hole and through the hole in the gusset. Here again, we'll pull it up rather tight. We'll do the same thing now. Go through the next hole. And at this point, the sides need to be turned up, as you can see. And now, we'll go through the next hole and through 
the hole in the gusset and pull it up rather snug. And we will continue doing this and we will go all the way around. After you lace around to where you started, you'll end up with uh, one hole that doesn't go all the way through, so you go through that hole and come out between the layers of leather Then take the lace and go back under several stitches and bring it out, cut it off, and you're finished.